Hey guys, Matt here. Uh, welcome to the next part of the beginner series. This is going to be going over how to make your strikes better. With strikes, things you want to make sure you do, are doing, make sure you have a good stance, make sure that you are angling the stick properly, make sure you're using your entire body, And if you're hitting a target, make sure you're hitting with the proper part of the stick. One of the first videos in this series was how to do the 12 strikes, but there's more to it than just knowing how to do the 12 strikes, you also have to do it properly. So a lot of people do this thing I like to call paint brushing, where they technically are moving the stick in the correct places for where the 12 strikes are supposed to be, but it's not exactly correct. It's a thing I even see with intermediate people where they still strike as if they're paint brushing as opposed to actually striking. Strike one should be here, cutting through, but a lot of people will do this and weave in front of them like it's a magic wand or a paintbrush. It's pretty easy to fix. In Eskrima, along with many other martial arts, if you look awkward and feel awkward, you're probably doing it wrong. So let's fix that. So we're gonna start off with our stance. We're gonna be not too wide, not too narrow. If you do other martial arts, it'll be just be when you're on your toes while you're sparring. That width, that distance, here. For the purposes of this uh, video, I'm just not gonna be on my toes. Be here, checking in here, not puffed up, not hunched over, not leaning forward, nice and balanced. When we strike for the 12 strikes, they should be cuts, except for the thrusts, cutting through. Remember, the stick is representing a sword. One sec. Okay, got a sword. So when you use a sword, you're supposed to slice, not supposed to smack with the side of the blade, uh, and thrust, obviously. So when you cut, you wanna make sure that this is angled properly. Cutting through, cutting through. Cutting through, cutting through. And you want the same thing with the stick. All right, so cut instead of smack. Cut, cut. Nice, clean. Slashes and following through. That's the first thing. Angle of the weapon. So I'm just gonna stress it up. I'm just gonna slash one and two. Cut, cut, cut. Not smack, smack, smack. Your wrist shouldn't be doing this. It should be with your entire arm. Actually with your entire body. When you slash, it's never just the stick. Granted, you can do that, but anyone can do that. If you're using a sword this way, just going like this, it's not gonna be very effective. You wanna cut all the way through. Nice big slashes. And we're gonna do that with the stick. When you cut, you wanna use your entire body. You wanna pivot on the balls of those feet. Imagine that you have something really heavy. You got something really heavy. If you were swinging a bat, you're just not going like this, going all the way through. So the motion of my body right now is the motion you should have with the stick. Okay, I'm done. So cut, 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 cut. Now a stick is light, obviously, but it makes a difference. Instead of just using your shoulder muscles, because um, these are, they can be strong, but on most people, they're not gonna be that strong in comparison to using your entire body. Just using this versus the entire body helping with your cut. This, as hard as I can, with my body. Hopefully you can hear the difference. If I use it on a bag, hopefully this works. Uh, every time I try using a bag, the Audio does weird things and just normalizes it. So I'm recording from this mic, camera mic, and my phone mic that I'm gonna place across the room. This is just using my shoulder. And with my entire body. A nice way to gauge uh, how good your hit is, is if you have a bag. Hopefully the microphones catch this. You want to hit with the tip of the stick. That's where the most force is going to be, as opposed to the middle of the stick. Middle of the stick. Also, you can't follow through, which isn't ideal. Tip of the stick. 
Now, when I hit with a little bit less than the tip of the stick, just the tip. And I think that's it. The one way you can tell how good your hit is, how accurate it is, uh, in terms of where you're hitting with the stick, is by listening to the bag. If you hear a thud, even if it's loud, a thud usually means you're hitting with too much of the stick. If you get um, a sharper thud, it, you're still hitting with too much of the stick. You should hear a distinct crack. I really hope the microphone's picked up on that. If you are just glancing off of it, you'll hear a skip kind of noise. Kinda. But it's not uh, that, it's not that satisfying thud or not that's a thud, uh, crack. You'll get these impact noises and they'll sting, but they won't hurt as much as a nice uh, hit with the top part of the stick. So if you can get that, woo, it'll be good. Hopefully the microphone's picked up on all those uh, differences, but eh, I don't know if I, how I can fix that in post, whatever. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, see you guys later.